Hey, this is Aflevavi from TheKnurf.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're gonna learn the final countdown in a full finger style arrangement that I've made especially for you guys and girls. First, I'm gonna demonstrate it so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this. Enjoy. Alright, so we have five parts to learn. The intro, the interlude between the intro and the verse, the verse, the chorus, and the solo. So let's jump right into the intro. We play the A bass note, the A string. Then we play the E string. We play three on the second string. The E string again. Then two on the third string. Okay, the reason for playing it like that is because uh, in the chorus you have to jump from the melody line to the intro line. And this enables you to remain on A minor, on the A minor shape. Now if you want to vary it and play something else in the intro, you can play this. Okay, five, pull off to three, hammer on to five on the second string. Okay, five, three, five, and two on the third string. Okay, that's for the intro. It's up to you, your choice. So, A, then the F bass, one on the E bass string, then one pull off to zero, hammer on to one on the first string, open first string, three on the second string. Okay, so you have F, then um, D, the D string, then this. It's this again on the E string. One, zero, one, hammer on, pull off. And then um, two on the third string. Then you play the third string open with three on the bass, which is the G bass note. Okay, this is a G octave, you play the G string and the G bass note. Then this. Three pull off to one on the second string. Then you take this finger to three on the second string again and you play four on the bass string. Okay, because this is a transition uh, from G to G sharp to A. It's a chromatic bass transition. Okay, so we play G, now we play G sharp, then 5-4 on the 3rd string, 
okay, with your pinky and third fingers. Then three on the second string, it's still there. So then one on the second string with the A bass. And then you play everything again. F. D. G. G sharp. A. Then you uh, play a hammer on from zero to one on the second string. Then you play G over B, which is three on the second string, two on the A string. Okay, this is a G over B chord. So then one hammer on to three on the second string. Then you play an open E string with three on the A bass string. Okay, so it's then three, one, zero on the second string. Then two on the third string with the F bass. Okay, one on the bass string or with your thumb. Then one on the uh, first string. Okay, you can actually play the full F chord like this. Um, okay, but if you want to keep it a solo, um, in a solo frame of mind, then Okay, play it as a solo. And then the open E string with the open E bass string and put on the E chord. Um, well, actually not yet. You can put it on and play it like this um, if you want. It's up to you, okay? Uh, you play it the way you want to play it, not the way I want to play it. And then this. Okay, small Spanish guitar cliche lick. Um, one, zero, one, hammer on, pull off, a legato line on the E string, three on the second string, open E string again, and then you play the E chord three times. Okay, you can play the whole set of strings, you can play the bass notes, you can make this an E5 chord. Okay, but... You want to get the major sound, so I suggest if you play the bass notes, play it up to the third string. Okay? That's the intro. A, F, D, G, G sharp, A again. Uh, Spanish cliche. Right? The words get jumbled uh, in my mouth for some reason. So, that's the intro. Um, I'm pretty sure that you know how it sounds like. Okay, it's one of the most famous songs ever made. So, there's no reason to demonstrate it a third time. Okay, you know how it goes. Then you play this. On the A minor chord. This is A minor because it's the A bass with the top three notes from the A minor chord when you play it as a bar on five. So this is kind of a, an economic way to play it and have your fingers free. So um, you play the bass, then you play the chord. Okay, five, five, and five on strings one, two, and three. Then the melody is mm. okay. You already played the five on the E string, which is the first melody note. Then uh, eight, five on the second string. Eight, seven on the first string. Eight on the third, uh, the second string again. Then you can play the chord again, okay, with the bass note. Now 
again, you can keep playing the bass note as you go along, you can keep playing the whole chord as you go along, it's your choice. <laughs> Chords throughout, bass notes throughout, it's A minor, so as long as you play the melody, it sounds good. Sounds like you're playing two guitars, even three if you're working the bass notes right. Um, the bass notes, you can just accentuate the beats. Okay, and just play the melody upon them. And you can choose to play the chord along with the notes. Or just once. And then you have an extra bar of A minor to fill anyway, so you can play the chord. Okay, before the verse begins. So that's basically it for the interlude. Okay, you have tons of choices um, how you can play this. You can just, you know, fit it to your own style in any way you want, even like this. joke it can work you know if you're in front of an audience suddenly inserting that uh, <clears throat> I don't know that rumba line okay I'm not sure it's rumba but don't don't sue me if I'm wrong uh, it's just seven five uh, four seven six five four on the the D string if you want to know it's just okay the chord six chord Five chord, four chord. Okay, as a joke, if you're in front of an audience, the audience will love it. Uh, they'll never expect it. So um, you can do that as well. You see, any way you want to play this works. It's just A minor. So the verse, the verse starts like this. And then something similar. And then the first line again. So you're on A minor, this time the basic A minor shape, you play the bass, then you play 2-2 two, two on the 3rd string, 0-1-0 zero, zero on the 2nd string, 2 on the 3rd string again. Okay, that's the melody. Again, bass notes, chords, however you want to play this. Then you play the beginning again, a, 2-2 two, two on G, 0-1 on the 2nd string, then the D string, then 2 on the G string. Okay, this is a D minor for a second there. So you can put a D minor chord and play that. You can do this. Okay, add the chord afterwards in any way you like. way you want to play the chord just to play the chord um, again you don't have to you can just keep playing the bass note and this up to you then a minor line again then you play a again and you do this zero hammer on to one on the second string and then open second string with the G bass three on the bass string then 2 on the G string, open G string, and then you put on a C chord and play the open G string again with the C bass. Okay, 3 on the A string. Again, you can play the chord in any way you like, according to your own style. But that's the melody. Um, G, C. Then you can add the Ye line if you want. Open G string, 3-2 on the 4th string, okay, using your pinky. Right? If you want, you don't have to, it's just a yeah, so the yeah is not on the lyrics, so you don't have to play it. Um, and then is this. Um, it's F, and you can choose to play like this. Mm. Okay, 
but in my opinion, it's a bit too cluttered and messy to just move the bar on and off. That's why I just like to use the bass note, the F bass note, one on the bass string, and play the melody. Uh, two, two on the G string. Zero, one, zero on the second string, which you can harmonize with the G string. Then two, zero on the G string, then G. Again, you can put the whole G chord on, you can put the bass note on and play the open G string. Okay, harmonize with the open D string. Sometimes that's enough to create a harmony. Okay, so. See, it's enough. And then it's this. C, you play the bass, you play the second string twice. Again, you can harmonize with the chord. Then G over B, three on the second string, two on the A string, you can harmonize with the third string. Then this, A minor, you play the second string and the fifth string, you pull off from one to zero on the second string, play the third string on two, um, and you put the finger back on one because you're gonna need it in a microsecond, so. And then you play that as the next melody. So one on the second string, you can play the A bass again. Then you play three on the second string, three on the sixth string. Okay, this is a G harmony. Again, you can harmonize with the third string. And then this. It's F. But again, it's one pull off to zero on the second string and two on the third string, so you you can use a different finger for the bass note. The one on the E bass note, you can use this finger. Okay, if the thumb is uncomfortable for you, but in my opinion, the thumb is a, a lot more comfortable because that way you have the entire hand free for soloing. Okay, so you have C, G over B, A minor, A minor again, G, F. And it doesn't end there, you keep on going. You play the G string again, then you play 0, 1, 0 on the 2nd string, and you play the E bass with the open 2nd string at the end, so... And you can harmonize with the 3rd string, because this is E minor, and you can put E minor on, and play 2, 0, 2 on the 3rd string, then... It's the open second string again with E minor in any way you want to play the chord. So again, okay, you can play the chord with the second string at the end of each E minor line. So let's um, play the verse again. This is, yeah, we're at the end of the verse. I wasn't sure, but we just finished learning the verse. So let's go over it again, A minor. Then half of it again into D minor. Okay, up to here and then D minor. A minor line again. A again into G. C. If you want to add the yeah, this, and then F. G. C, G over B, A minor, A minor, G, F. And then, E minor, E minor again, if you want, and then the chorus. So let me play the verse with the interlude at the beginning. So... Bar of A minor, verse, D minor, A minor again, into G, And at the 
end there, uh, you can either keep playing the E minor to the end of the bar, or you can do, okay, just E minor at the, um, the rhythm of the song, pa 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 pa, okay, like this. Just pick the chord at the rhythm. I pick strings two, three, four, and six. Or you can strum it. Okay, but in my opinion, if you're playing finger style, then play it finger style uh, to the end. So uh, just pick the chord. But again, your style, your choice. Then the chorus. The chorus starts with this. Okay. It's um, open second string, two on the third string, one zero on the second string. Then you put on a minor and you play the bass with open second string again. And then the third string and immediately you play this. Okay? Now you get what I'm trying, what I've tried to tell you at the beginning of the intro that in the chorus you're gonna need to stay on A minor and that's why this is a better choice for the notes instead of okay because you can't do that and A minor at the same time so bass solo okay it's the same solo zero three zero two on the third string I use the pinky and then you play the F and D minor lines of the intro. And then you play the G note, okay? The, the G bass note and the open G string. And then you play this. Okay? Zero, zero, uh, one on the second string. Then again, open second string with the fifth string. You put A minor on and you play two on the third string and then this again then f again then d minor again then g and you play the second string right that's the melody note here just the second string after the g uh, and that's the chorus you just add one line to it and then half of it and between them you play the A minor F D minor and G lines uh, of the intro so that's the chorus again you can play the D minor chord second string at the end and then you play another verse and another chorus um, and then you play the solo now the solo um, it's always difficult to make the transition from an electric guitar solo to an acoustic solo so I acknowledge the fact that this solo version might sound a bit lame to people so you don't have to play it but it's my obligation to teach it so uh, it's not my obligation, I'm doing this for free, but you know, it's my obligation to myself. So, you bar the fifth fret, okay? and you put eight on the first string, and you play strings one, two, three, and six, and you pull off from eight to five on the first string. Then I play this, just the first, second, and third strings two times, down, up, or or pick them but it sounds bad in my opinion so I strum them and then I play eight again and repeat it okay so um, ideally you play this four times but you can make your own variation of this this is just an interpretation okay and then 
It's kind of the same idea with G. This was A minor, so you play a bar on three, you put a second finger on four on the third string, so you have G. Okay, this is G minor, this is G major, and the pinky is on seven now. I know it's uncomfortable. Okay, so. And then uh, it's C with your pinky on three on the E string. So, okay, you can put the pinky back, you can just play the chord. And then F, just the F chord. And then I play this. Okay? It's kind of a transition into E minor. This, this is the minor third of the E minor um, chord, so it kind of outlines it. Um, I slide from three to five on the E string. I play the E bass. Three on the sec uh, the first string again. Then one zero. Okay, so it's three to five. Three one zero. Then D minor, I play strings two, three, and four. Then I play the second string, zero, one, zero on the first string, three, one on the second string. Okay, so it's... And you can play the bass again with one on the E string. Then I keep one on the second string. I put the G bass on, I play strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. Okay, this is, this is G sus4, but it's G in the context of our solo. Uh, you play this, okay, with 1, and then open 2nd string, 2, 0, on the 3rd string. So it's... And then the A minor from the beginning uh, interlude. Okay, 5, 5, and 5 on strings 1, 2, and 3, or the entire chord, however you want it, but the uh, high A note is the important melody note here because it's... Um... Okay, so you can slide the chord as well to uh, the end there if you want. Okay, you can slide the chord. Uh, it makes for a good solo. Um, so that's the solo. It's 8 and 5 on the E string inside an A minor bar. And then G with 7. And then C with 3 on the E string. And then F. Then an E minor line. Um, and then D minor. Starting with a G sus4 shape, slide into A. And you can play with that as a solo. Okay, you can create a sliding solo from that note instead of just um, instead of just playing the chord again and again. And then you play the intro again, uh, quite a bit more dramatically. Um, Okay, uh, for some reason I blacked out for a second again. Okay, you just play it dramatically with a lot of stops. You play it a lot more staccato than legato. Um, and then you can end on A minor. So it's... Um, Or do what I did in the demonstration and end on D uh, on uh, A minor add nine, which is this, okay? With your pinky on four on the third string inside the A minor chord instead of two, four. So you have zero one four two zero. Okay? If this is A, then this is the ninth. Okay? So, or like this, it's another A minor add 9, 
7 on the 4th string, 5 on the 3rd string, and you have the 1st, 2nd, and 5th strings open. Okay, because this, the open 2nd string, is the same note as 4 on the 3rd string. Okay, it's the same note, so it's either this, A minor, add 9. Beautiful chord. Anyway, before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons right here for you to learn. And go to the website, download the tab. The tabs are for free. The link is in the description. Everything is free right here on Lick and Ref, including this lesson, every other lesson, all the tabs. Everything is for free. So feel free to browse and look around. And uh, if you want to give something back to Lick and Ref, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. And everything goes right back into making these lessons, making the arrangements working on them, filming, editing, uploading, it all takes a lot of time and work. So I thank you in advance for any help you want to give out and for your generous donations. So you go practice this, have fun, make your own arrangement of this, find your own way to play it and your own way to interpret my uh, arrangement. I'd be more than happy to watch your cover if you decide to make one. In the meantime, you go have fun with your guitar, I'll go work on another lesson or another arrangement, and in the meantime, have fun. I won't stop saying that because that's the most important thing, to have fun with your guitar. Skill level doesn't matter as long as you have fun, so have fun. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.